In this example, we want to verify the function y of t, which is 2t plus 3 all times e to the 3t, solve the initial value problem y double prime minus 6y prime plus 9y equals 0, with y of 0 equals 3 and y prime of 0 equals 11. And we need to say what the order of the differential equation is and if it's linear or nonlinear. We can do that last part first. Right, This is a linear differential equation because the unknown function, which is y and its derivatives, all show up here only as linear terms. They're not raised to powers, they're not multiplied by each other, there's no other functions going on. So this is a linear differential equation, and it is second order because the highest derivative that we see is the y double prime. Now to verify the solution, we just have to take derivatives and see if that function being plugged in solves the equation. So we have that y of t is our given function, which is 2t plus 3 times e to the 3t. We can then take the first derivative, the y prime of t is going to be done by the product rule, 2 times e to the 3t plus 2t plus 3 times 3e to the 3t. Or rearranging and simplifying, this is 2e to the 3t plus, putting the 3 inside, 6t plus 9 times e to the 3t. Or this is 6t plus 11 times e to the 3t. We can now go to the second derivative. The y double prime of t is done again by the product rule. 6 times e to the 3t plus 6t plus 11 times 3e to the 3t. This should be the 3 inside. 6e to the 3t plus 18t plus 33 times e to the 3t. Using a final answer of 18t plus 39 times e to the 3t. And now we just want to see if this solves the right differential equation. So our equation was y double prime minus 6y prime plus 9y equals 0. Now we just want to plug in all the different components here. The y double prime we see is 18t plus 39 times e to the 3t minus 6y prime, so 6 times 6t plus 11 e to the 3t, and then plus 9y, which is 9 times 2t plus 3 times e to the 3t. Every term here is an e to the 3t, so I'll bring that to the front. This is e to the 3t times what? Well, it's e to the 3t times, we have an 18t plus a 39. We have minus a 6 times 6, or a 36t minus a 66, and then plus an 18t plus a 27. And if we look at this, this becomes an e to the 3t times, I have 18t plus 18t minus 36t is 0t. I have 39 plus 27, which is 66, minus 66 is 0. So this whole thing goes to 0 because everything cancels out. So therefore, because this worked out and I got to 0, this means that my function solves this differential equation here. We have verified that. And then last, we verify the initial conditions. So if I go back up to my functions here, I wanted that y of 0 was 3. So if I plug in 0 here, y of 0 will be 2 times 0 plus 3 times e to the 3 times 0, which that's 3. And y prime of 0 will be 0 plus 11 times 1, which is 11. Therefore, it meets also these initial conditions. So since this given function, 2t plus 3 and e to the 3t, both solves the differential equation part and meets initial conditions, it then solves this initial value problem.